So why is freedom of expression such an important right? There are many reasons for this. Classic rights philosophy points to the importance of freedom of expression to individual self-fulfillment, to the pursuit of truth in a marketplace of ideas, or, more recently, to guarantee the functioning of democracy. There are also many practical reasons why freedom of expression is so important. It allows individuals to express their opinions. A society in which this is not possible would not be a free society. There will be less corruption in a society where the media reports on the dealings of businessmen as well as government officials. There's going to be less opportunity for corrupt deals. There will be freedom from hunger. The Nobel Prize winning economist Amartya Sen has pointed out that there's never been a famine in a country with a free press. This is because societies with a free press function more efficiently. Society will be healthier for the same reason that there's a free press and a free circulation of ideas and others and everyone is free to report on the mismanagement of resources. There's going to be enhanced respect for the environment, again because information will be available and because of the reporting and ensuing concern for the well-being of the environment. There will be greater respect for other human rights because violations are likely to be reported on. There's even going to be improved national security. It has been pointed out that in the long run, democratic societies are safer countries than dictatorial ones. The political system will be more democratic because the citizenry can make informed choices. The government will be more efficient because its actions are closely monitored and reported on and suggestions for improvement are made. And for the same reason, there's going to be better decision making and the economy will run more efficiently. Finally, individuals will receive better treatment from institutions, again, because their functioning is open to public scrutiny. It will be noted that most of these are social benefits for society as a whole, not just individual ones. And it is for this reason that the mass media play a crucial role in realizing the right to freedom of expression. This brings into play both aspects of the right to freedom of expression, the active dimension, whereby the media impart information, as well as the passive dimension, whereby the public receives information and ideas circulated through the media. So, when a media outlet is shut down, this affects not just the right to freedom of expression of the journalists who work there, but also the right of the public at large to receive the information that they produce. This has been pointed out by the European Court of Human Rights in cases such as Open Door v Ireland, which concerned the ability of NGOs to provide information on abortion and family planning, and the right of the public to receive that information, whether directly or through the media. The European Court has therefore accorded the media an important status in society, particularly in the context of democracy and political debate. It has often repeated the following phrase, freedom of the press affords the public one of the best means of discovering and informing an opinion of the ideas and attitudes of their political leaders. In particular, it gives politicians the opportunity to reflect and comment on the preoccupations of public opinion. It thus enables everyone to participate in the free political debate, which is at the very core of the concept of a democratic society. This was first formulated in the case of Lingens v Austria, which concerned the conviction for defamation of a journalist who had reported on a debate on how some Austrian politicians apparently belittled the victims of Nazi crimes. This principle has since been repeated in countless other cases and remains a bedrock of European freedom of expression law.